you moved on clearly. And the, one of the next vehicles that you were a part of, especially on the concept car side was this little vehicle called the, called the Z07. And for those who don't know, <laughs> well, you tell the story. Well, you know, um, BMW had long time wanted to do some sort of, of top of the line car that sort of was the embody of all the BMW DNA, the ultimate driving machine, beautiful, you know, uh, all these things. And, and uh, they, they kept looking over to Stuttgart where Mercedes had the SL and they were really annoyed, but they didn't really want to do an SL because they kind of felt that's a certain Mercedes segment. So the assignment came uh, sometime in uh, summer, if somebody wanted to give it a shot, got a few engineers in the program and nobody wanted to do it because it wasn't a real pro program. And I got to design it or got the project and I designed the was, was the show car Z07. And when we showed it to the board, they were so excited that they say, you know what, let's just build it, which were kind of, I guess those days where that was still possible. I don't know that it really happens in the car industry anymore, but we pretty much built that vehicle, which became, of course, the Z8 sports car, exactly the way I had designed it. There was no real changes to the vehicle. Uh, it, was, it was a big effort from engineering to do it, I have to say. It was incredible. There was just an enthusiastic team there that did it. And I think to this day, it's still uh, quite iconic for BMW. That's iconic, because that's the word I was going to use. I mean, it was only good enough for James Bond. You, you must have been completely thrilled with the, at the success of it, at the, of, you know, of course, Hollywood's interest in it. Tell me about that, about, a, about designing a Bond car. That was really cool. You know, uh, it, the producer or director or whatever wanted the car in the movie, although it was supposed to have been a different BMW, but he came by the design studio, saw it, and uh, it was put in the movie. I was still a young designer, so I was not really uh, allowed to know anything about what happened on the higher levels in the company other than, hey, it's going in the Bond movie. And I, I was able to wiggle myself into uh, the premiere of, of the of the film, but never knew exactly what's going to happen. And I had in my dreams that this car was going to escape some mean Ferraris and Lamborghinis, et cetera. And of course, in the film, it gets cut in half. And I have to say, I, I was devastated <laughs> when I saw that. <laughs> so, but it was, I was happy I got to the, I, I got to go to the Bond party afterward and saw some of the Bond girls. That made me happy. <laughs> The car that was cut in half. That's the uh, it's that's the beat. It's the uh, the outtake of of that film. 